streaming are we live how alive are we let's see let's see i don't know i don't know let's see uh channel hello view your channel live hello yep we are live <laughs> okay so now we put some uh, well i finished my exam so what are we doing today yep we are doing we're we're doing uh we're doing math again because <laughs> we didn't have enough exams you know exam i even did the probability exam but you know what there is never enough exams so you know what we do more <laughs> we do more and more math problems because we never get bored of math how can you get bored of math it's insane you get you have two simple axioms and, you, and then you have like a full 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 thing who is writing Oh, probably my whole family just chatting some weird things. I want to see my family chat. What's up, Ep? I don't care. Okay, now we we will learn. We 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 learn. I hate this kind of images. Proof minus one times minus one is equal to one. Probably such a hard proof or something weird. You know what? I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Oh, but I wanted that music to be in the back. Okay, we have. Uh... I want that music. I don't care. I don't care if I get copy strike it. Um, just <laughs> I don't care if I get. Uh, hello. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, I can. You know, he has a question. <laughs> wait, wait, but like, don't you have like the inverse property or something? Like, because you have a field, you have a field of natural numbers. I don't know. Uh, field of. Uh, it's not natural number, it's. Uh, Whole numbers. Is this called whole numbers? Yeah, I mean the field definition you have uh Oh my god, no 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 no. You have yeah this the inverse multiplicity see? Inverse multiplicity thing, maybe you can derive it from here. I don't know. Who knows? We move on. This is the addition, this is the addition inversely. That's how the fields properties. Oh. 
So you just uh, all the way, you got this. Okay, blah blah blah. Okay, bro came up And you get on well, I mean, Interesting proof But I want to see a calculus trailer You know what? Calculus, what is calculus? Let's go trailer Yep, you get numify, you get functions You get derivatives Good job Integrals, let's go <laughs> After so many years, we finally got the official trailer. Okay, series, the Taylor series. Yep, yep, the curvature. Shapes now, the conic shapes. Nice, nice trailer, not gonna lie, nice trailer. Okay, now we, 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 you see, I speak uh, French, you see, I'm <laughs> We put this on and we do. Let's, let's do exercises. So first we download this. Let me download this. We go one back. Oh my god, I hate Teams app. The Teams app is the worst app in the entire world. Like I press back. Oh, it goes back. Okay, okay. But look, it takes 20 minutes to load a PDF. What do you mean? I need to do all of these. I have to practice. Because practice makes perfect. Because if you don't practice, you have you are not. And you, we open Obsidian, the best app in the entire world. And don't look. This is what what is here is just weird as things. But what we do is that we have. Uh, I need to open this in a file explorer, please. Uh, show in system explorer. Right, and I will create a new folder. New, 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 new folder, I will call it... Uh, I, uh, I will call it... Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm prepping for a competition. It's called Koenig something Propertition, so I just call it Koenig's uh, comp. You know what, let's just give its proper name. Let, let's be realistic here. The competition name is uh, Team Smithing Kunis Dennis. These are both two big uh, grad theory mathematicians in uh, Hungary, I think. Yep, here we are. And now what I need is that I need to go to download. And what I need is I need the... Uh, What is this? Just exam, I guess. Ah, this is uh, software engineering. So I need to put this at say. And this. This. I need to put to Kunis. Yep, right here. And we, we, we fly now. We fly. We fly. We have both of them, I guess, but I don't need this. And you know what else I need? Uh, oh, it's the same thing, so I'll just do a practice at first. Else I need? I need the amazing book. Uh, I know, uh, Simple Graph. Uh, simple Graphs. It's called Simple Graph? Simple graphs, uh, BME. BME, best university in the world. <laughs> I mean, this is where I saw this, so. Is it a slide? Terra Hyra is also amazing. Yep. I mean, do I want this? Isomorphism, oh my god, I forgot all these things. Like, there's so many things in graph theory which I have for. Oh my, oh my god. Yep, I need to revise. But I think I was looking for. Nope.
Well, you can find practices all day. Networks and fractals? Ah, oh, I wish I went to the graph theory to BME. Theory to me. Yep, this is what you look for. So now what you do is uh, generating functions for Bonacci numbers, homogeneous linear recurrence in Catalan numbers, linear recurrence in Catalan numbers. <laughs> Ramsey type problems, Ramsey practice. I love this. More of fifty percent. Uh, well, I, I will. I will love to go to this. I will go to this class. I don't care. Can, can you repeat this? Oh no! Should I put some other? Some, I want to put. I want to put. Ooh, let's go. Dun 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 bangers. I love this phone guys produce so much bangers. It is a book. No, there is a book in here. What was the book? What was the book? Oh my god, this guy's. <laughs> Why am I so intrigued by math every time I look at it? Like, I'll just see the names, I'm like, oh my god, this should be amazing. But I need the book. I'm trying to find the book. Let me. Oh. What? Book. Well. Is this a book? No, it's like a... You saw that... What was the book? It was the here, like. Now where I'm going. Well, translate. Graph <sighs> theory two. I'm in here. Be me. Fuck. Sorry for swearing. Oh, if I can understand what they're saying. Oh, they have a good book from Graph Theory. Oh my god, I remember. Well. Well, this is a book. Hello, zip server unavailable. Good job.
Catalan numbers. <laughs> Hello, uh, can I get translation? I cannot get translation. <laughs> Press every link until Press every link until something works, let's go no. What is this? I need to ask, I need to ask my guy Thank you Yep And uh Uh What does, uh, what was what was what was what was the book in graph in graph theory do you have I cannot I cannot find it I'm pretty mad I cannot find it I know it is like extremely good book well, mm, okay. Uh, graph. Oh. Graph. Graph. Books. I think maybe it is this one. Or no. I think it's this orange one, not gonna lie. They are all they all look textbooks on graph. I don't know, they all look good. <laughs> Maybe he has the answers. Oh my god, I think he replied. Please hello. No, right now. <laughs> I'm joking. Well, we will have to do without the book until he gives it to us. Yo. Wait, wait. Uh, wait me, wait me. Let me get the. Uh, let me get the chat. Let me, let me get the chat because I don't have a chat. I can see anyone writing. <laughs> You, oh my god. Wait, wait, where is chat, chat, chat live? Who's, who's watching it? I hope. That's the one, right? Bro! I forgot about the chat. I forgot about the chat. Chat. Okay, we have a chat. Chat, everybody. Let's go. Why is so mesmerizing watching myself? <laughs> Who's fucking writing, bro? I need it! <laughs> okay, okay. Dun 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 na 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 Hey, we have a touch here Design, what is your major? I do computer science, but I like mathematics so. Same thing <laughs> Mathematician, mathematician don't, I don't, don't Do mathematician like the computer science department? I don't Bro, I finished the tests 
I I have I I have finished. Oh my god, my my writing right. Oh my god, the tests. <laughs> I finished the exams, bro. I'm just studying for fun because I have like we have competitions, and I don't know. I need to study. Where where did where did Bro is gonna take 30 minutes to get oh it doesn't matter. Okay, let's do the first one. Let's see how far we get. Probably nowhere. Uh so the question is uh, can uh, can I can this app zoom in? Yes. So let me be a simple bipartite graph. Let's go. So I need to explain what a bipartite graph is. Bum, 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 bum. Where is my cable? Wait a second. Wait a second. You're gonna see the most explanation about bipartite graphs. <laughs> Okay, screen. Na 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 na. You know, it's the same music over and over again. <laughs> Probably annoying. So let's have some. I don't know. Uh. 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 Atmosphere funk. Let's go. Thirty-nine minutes. I don't know. Why is this so weird? You know what? I want just for 10 times more energy. 10 times. Oh my god. Let's see what. You know what? The other one was calmer. I uh, math needs a more calmer ambient. I atmospheric funk is so great though. Dun, uh... How to get copyright strike? Number one, put some music in back. <laughs> Bro, I need, I need you, not your help. Baba, na, 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 na. Oh, oh wait wait I was uh, screen yep hello why don't you connect wait where is it failing uh, I can't even see why it's failing okay it is failing because I don't have uh... Uh, I don't know, I don't have the uh, USB tethering Tethering Tethering, why is it not always on? USB tethering please And then we have Screen Dun -dun. Why is that thing failing? Hello? Always hello Uh, okay, nice. I only had to use USB tethering. No, I can write. <laughs> I can write, but uh, uh, well, I need to disconnect it real quick. This stream is going very well. <laughs> like, I have zero things fixed up right now. We've done zero progression for 30 minutes. We have gotten zero. Oh my! Oh my! Can I? Can I get this thing up? Okay. So now, mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. oh my God! This is nice. Okay. Now we are. We are on a point. We are on point. We're flying. We. We have colors. So now, how do I do this? Like, well, we can do this, I guess. And then have, 
I mean, ha, oh my. This looks nice though, that's nice. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I need to make a, a folder like a normal guy. Uh, I need to make manage folders. I need the new folder. Let's call it. What do I call it? Uh, Kunis Dennis Kunik Kunik Serum. Dennis. I don't know any Dennis theorem though. I don't know what Dennis has done. Blap. Add. Uh, and then we... Um, I need to create a note here. And we go. Oh, they changed this. Oh, this is so much better. Oh my god. Okay, nice. So... <laughs> oh, oh, well. You will suffer. Until... <laughs> Let me get a glass of water. Oh. Let's see. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Thanks. So I see what is the question? It's saying the Kunis Dennis Oh my god I'm my 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 thing is gone. Uh yes thank you Thank you now I steal your idea Let me, let me, let me put this aside. Uh, make CAD AI. Wait, 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 bro, make, uh, develop an AI bot where it does, where it does rendering from CAD. So where how do you do rendering from a soft okay it does the rendering in a software from a software what do you mean okay uh, make cat ai that renders things and then i'll make it like this so i can put ticks so i, I can just <laughs> No 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 Okay so let G be a simple by you know what a bipartite graph is? It's uh, very easy. Uh bipartite okay so a bipartite graph is just a graph. You have so well, you don't even know what a graph is, but I'm talking. You have vertices, easy, and you have edges connecting them. And the bipartite graph is this kind of graph where there are all the edges. All the edges go from one, 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 I don't know, one set to the other set. This is set A, this is B, and then all the edges only go from A to B, let's, or from B to A, both ways. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's the point of it. That is a bipartite. So it's saying you have a bipartite grape with N vertices in both of its partitions. So you have a so what it's saying, you have a bipartite, you have n vertices in here, you have n vertices in here. 
further for any further for any for any uh, u element a and v element b if u v is not equal to the edge okay so it's what you're saying is for na 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 ah this is a banger this one is such a good song Ba -bum -bum -bum. Did anyone answer me or no? Ba -da 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 na 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 Is gaming brothers? No. Certainly strange atmosphere. Rain and skating ring. Yep. I was skating, you see? Wonderful. Uh, he will never answer. He said 30 minutes, but I don't believe him. I don't think you will read it at 12.30. <laughs> I will, I'm reading it. I don't care. Na 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 So, further for any uh, edge in A and any edge of B. Oh. For any edge in A, wait a second. So it's saying you get an edge in A. So let this edge be in here, and you get this uh, this uh, uh huh. So so it's saying if you have two vertices, so this one and this one, and this edge is not here. Oh, let's let this have this. But for example, if you take these two vertices, and then this, it's saying that oh, if you take two vertices and there is not an edge between them such that if a first vertex is in this set and the other vertex is in this other set if you take an edge from here to here what it's saying is that if you take an edge the degree of this edge so how many edges are going out so it's saying that the degree of u degree of u plus degree of v is greater than equal to m plus 1 And I need to prove that G contains a Hamiltonian cycle. Oh, we can win for it. Let's go. It's 24. Let's go, it's a lot. I can I can win money <laughs> the hardest way to win money, but let's go. Let's go. I love the competition. You made it into the good list, don't worry. I implement bad ideas. Because bad ideas are always the best ideas. Uh, I wish this guy answered me because I don't even remember what the Hamiltonian cycle is. What is it? Okay, okay. So, so what, 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 what kind of information can we derive that the, the, that the, from this? What kind of information can we derive of this? How much do we know from this? How much can we derive from this? Like, what do we know from this? Like, like, uh... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> An idea. Okay, he's saying that the degree of... If there is no edge between them. Hello. 
Hi, hi. I mean, I've never, I've never seen you here before, so uh, hello, first time. <laughs> What we do here is, I don't know, we do nothing. Like, we finished our exams and we still do math because... Uh, I have nothing better to do. <laughs> nah, I, I love math, that's why. Uh, but, like, I, I'm, I can't do any of these exercises and... Uh, this ain't looking good. I'm supposed to do them in the breeze. Prove that G contains a Hamiltonian cycle. Prove that G contains a Hamiltonian cycle. So what is, uh, what is, like, oh, I need to prove. Prove G contains a Hamiltonian cycle. I mean, I don't know. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I, I, oh, I, I've never, I've done. It's been a long time since I've done Grafia, like a year or something. I've forgotten everything. The only thing I remember is on the bipartite graph here. I remember the degrees here. <laughs> Okay, so it's later saying if this like if it doesn't if this says doesn't exist. Do I have red color? I don't have red color. I need some red color, I guess. Red, hello. If I don't, if I don't have like an edge, then the degree, the sum of these degrees is greater than. You sh you need probably need some or theorem or some things like I don't remember the theorem. So we need to go back to go back to the theorems that I have forgotten because I'm such a genius. There was the or theorem and Dirac theorem. What did the or theorem state? Well, I had a full a full proof about or theorem, but never mind. Can I make this a bit uh Or theorem, or theorem. Let's see what this guy has to say about the Orsa. Like many campuses, is covered with buildings and sidewalks. There may be some yard on one side, there are some buildings, and there are some buildings on the other side, and these buildings are connected via sidewalks to one another. The sidewalks may crisscross across the yard. <laughs> this is funny. This is what you see. <laughs> you see this guy? But whatever the case, we have buildings that are connected by these sidewalks. Now, if you are like Euler, you may be interested in this question of, is it possible to walk some path, or better yet, a loop, a circuit, that crosses over each sidewalk exactly once. To do this, remember you calculate the degrees of each vertex. Two, four, three, four. Euler, my man. And then you notice that since there are two vertices of odd degrees, you can begin at one of those vertices and travel along a path that hits each sidewalk exactly once, terminating at the other vertex. We always like math, then yes. If all of those degrees are even, then there exists a closed circuit that hits all of the vertices exactly, all the edges exactly. Yeah, 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 easy. This is called. Euler well, and paths are easy, but Hamilton paths are like. But you may be interested in a slightly different question. All your cycles. Each edge exactly Trails. Once. You may want to know can we visit each building exactly once? Is there some loop? that we can go on, so that we begin at one of the buildings. It's not a loop, a cycle. In a loop. A path, not even a cycle of that. Once. This is called, instead of a Eulerian circuit, it's called a Hamiltonian circuit. Circuit. Hamiltonian circuit. Hamiltonian path. 
<laughs> yep, yep, you have a Hamiltonian uh, cycle, you have a Hamiltonian cycle and a Hamiltonian path, why does it call it a circuit? It's a cycle. I mean, the point, what it's saying is, I mean, it's very easy, like, you have, uh, so what you have is that, uh, oh my god, I need to draw a graph. So what, what graph did you have? Okay, you had one, two, three, four, five, and you had something like this connected. Plus something like this, like this, like this, and like this. So the point is that uh, you uh, the, there is a Hamiltonian. Let's suppose the Hamiltonian cycle. So it's a, a Hamiltonian cycle is a cycle that traverses every vertex. So let's get an example. So you go here, 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 here. Oh my God! Is there any Hamiltonian cycle for this? Oh yeah. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. There is. There is. This is an outside cycle. This works. This is an Hamiltonian cycle. Look, this is Hamiltonian cycle. And then the Hamiltonian path is the same thing, but you have, uh, you have, you just have uh, a path from here to here, and you don't have this edge. That's the path. I mean, they're the same thing. But let's see. Let's how much they finishes. You can probably find different ones. Vertex once. Unlike Euler's theorem that says just calculate the degrees in an Eulerian path or circuit exists if and only if the degrees satisfy some condition, we don't have a nice if and only if condition for the existence of a Hamiltonian circuit. In fact, it's been shown that in general it's computationally difficult. To find yes, it is is in graph. MP. It is in MP. However, there are some simple tests. But that's like computationally uh, hard. What they mean is like it is in MP. That's what they mean. That can help us to find some cases where they exist. One of those tests is called Ohr's theorem. Yep. I remember now. I just said a quick, I just wonder what's up, I had to set, what's up, what's up, set a quick refresh, you have yours here. Oh, I can I need that book. Ohr's theorem says, if you have some graph that has n vertices, then if it's always the case for non-adjacent vertices, if for all non-adjacent, that is, vertices that do not share an edge between them, if for non all non-adjacent u and v, you have that the degree of u plus the degree of v is bigger than Which is n minus 1. Oh. That will guarantee the existence of and n minus one, it's uh, it's uh, for m, for m plus one, then there is a, uh, and for m plus one, there is a Hamiltonian path. But this exercise is easy. Let's look at this example. If you look at any two... I have my lecture notes. What am I doing? Discrete math. No. Oh, this is the same one. No, this is the same one with many more. But, uh... Okay, next thing. Like this uh, What is graph theory? Oh, my God. Oh... <laughs> yeah, let me explain, let me explain. You have a graph theory, start this graph, and then you're gonna ask, what is a graph? Well, a graph has a set of vertices, has a set of edges. 
So it's like a set that has a set of a call action, more correctly, but same thing, just a thing that has this, those two sets, and these two sets are, these are edges, these are, I mean, you can represent how many they want, but these are edges, we represent them as points in space, or in mathematical notation, they just give like uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, like edges, and this is a set, and then you have uh, yeah, vertices, and then you have uh, the these are called the vertices, my mistake, and these are the edges, and the edges are, we represent like AB is an edge, and for example, it was AB, this is the edge AB. See, and then you have like, you, this is a graph, for example, you have this kind of vertices, A, B, C, uh, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, K, so here we have H, I, K, and you have the edges, so A to B, C to D, I mean, this is one edge, and you have, this is another edge, so the edge is also a set of vertices. <laughs> it's a set of vertices, and then, uh, this, this, like, are connected together somehow, and then yeah, this is, that's what graph theory, graph theory studies graphs, and graphs are those kind of things. And the point is, for example, you have a city, it's, it is very applicable in computer science. I think it's the I main most applicable part in computer science. You, you will see it every way. You're going to have like cities, for example, this are a city, I don't know, New York, New York, LA, uh, Berlin. And you have like a road from LA to Berlin. For example, we also give weight like it is 10 hours or something. I don't know. And then it's like two hours. And you like model the graph and then for example, you model an ice graph and then you compute it. What is the shortest way to get from LA to Berlin? Maybe it's to go down here, it takes two hours and then three hours is less. Like Google, yeah, in a sense, like Google Maps. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, it's uh, like Google Maps. Because you get from here, like, uh, you, you you model you model uh, things like this and then you have so many theorems so many like things we know about graphs and the way and then when you start modeling like this we can uh, we can solve a lot of problems this is what google actually does every day like that's how google maps work you know when you press find the shortest path it's literally creating this and then graph theory is just the mathematical mathematical way to study this Good question. I mean, there's never bad questions, but every question is good. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Edges and vertices. So it's a collection or a set. Uh, we call it a collection. And you have vertices and you have edges. And these are like the vertices, these are the edges, and that's a graph. It's not. <laughs> Not, not, the, not, the, not this graph. <laughs> People when they listen to graph here, they're like, oh my god, this graph. No, 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 it's uh, this kind of graph. And then they take care of this. And then there is a, a deep dive to math graph theory. And too much things happen in graph theory. Did anyone write to me? Uh, what did I want to look? Yep. Just wanted to see. Uh, no one wrote to me. So. I'm trying to solve this exercise, but like it's been one year since I touched everything, and probably this is semester three. Probably I have my lecture notes somewhere. Uh, let's see. The, what kind of walls do I have? Do I have a lost semester? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just graph theory. I mean, you're probably gonna ask again, what is graph theory? <laughs> I mean, I just explained it, you can go like 10 minutes behind. But where are we is, uh, can I reveal in file explorer if I can... Mm, System Explorer, and then I need to go on back. Second semester, was it? Do I have... Do I have my lecture notes? 
Let's see my election. Oh my god. Simple graph. Well, that's what I just explained here is a simple graph. Ah, uh, handshake lemma. Directed graphs, complements of graph, complements of graph, proposition, corollary, subgraph, deletion, connectedness of graph. Every walk has a path. Three. Hey, hey, I drew this Hamiltonian cycles and trails. So what I'm saying, a Hamiltonian cycle is part of a graph. This this says that there is, so it, what the Hamiltonian cycle is a cycle such oh I love my notations they see how nice I write things so it's a cycle such that for every edge in G uh, so every edge in G is element of a cycle once well the thing I told you previously and then the path is that every edge of Z is element of the path once and then you need you have like the necessary conditions. So what necessary means is that if there is a Hamiltonian cycle, then you have this. But it doesn't work the way around. If this is true, then this is not true. So what I'm saying is, a Hamiltonian cycle. Uh, let's uh, let a Hamiltonian cycle be uh, in the graph. Then let k be the edges you remove. So you're removing this, uh, uh, ver this arc of vertices, sorry. Let k be the vertices you remove. And for every vertex, for, and then v are just vertices in the graph. And then the number of, of components, this is the number of components, of g minus k is less than equal to k. So a component is, uh, you see, this guy, this guy can reach this guy, this guy can reach this guy, this guy can reach this guy, so they're like connected, that is one component. So the point is that if you have a cycle, so you, you, you have a Hamiltonian cycle already, so this is a cycle that touches anything. You can have more vertices in the middle, but the point is if you have a Hamiltonian cycle, and then if you remove, uh, if you remove vertices from it, if you remove one, then you're gonna get uh, the number of components is still one if you remove two from the cycle you're still gonna get two components so it's just k okay. then now how much you remove that's the number of components it's less than equal to k but it can't be more yeah it's less than equal to k but it can't be more because there is connected here because it's minimally connected. I, I mean, it's hard to explain it for the moment, but the point is that I need to solve this. <laughs> Try to, to get along because probably I'm like too far away. What am I solving? Is uh, I'm just doing some exercises. I'm just... We have a we have a competition, so I'm just preparing for it, trying to prepare. I'm trying to remember what I did, but how like my lecture notes are so good. Oh my god! And then if you have, it's the same thing. It's, this is if I if I have a path, then if I remove one, I get two components, so it's k plus one. Nice. So. What what were we? We had okay. What we said we had the bipartite graph. So, and I explained in the beginning what the bipartite graph. You can look back if you want to, if you can find it. But you had a bipartite graph, and then you if if, if, if it said the exercise says uh, where is it? The exercise says that if yep, this is a, this is b. Then if s doesn't exist, then this is greater than or equal to m plus one, which implies which implies uh, every the sum is saying that if there isn't an edge, for example, from from this vertex to this from this vertex to this, there isn't an edge. This implies that the degree of this, the degree it means the number of edges coming out, should be should be so. This guy is not connected to this guy, which implies this guy should have should have. Uh, 
should have uh, n minus one n plus one edges. Should have n plus one edges. Greater more than n plus one edges. Okay, so which is just this is just the or theorem. This is just the Ors theorem. Yeah. So what what uh, exercise? The solution is. This is just the Ors theorem. Like that's. Then ah, but this proves that uh, okay. This proves that there is a. Oh no. No, no, this is, if there is a Hamiltonian cycle, then this is the case. So I can just prove, I can, with this I can prove there isn't. So if this is not the case, then there isn't a Hamiltonian cycle. That's what I can prove. But I cannot prove that there is a Hamiltonian cycle. If this is the case, it's not necessarily that there is a Hamiltonian cycle. I don't know anything right now. Prove that G contains a Hamiltonian cycle. Well, you have, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I see the point. The point is, uh... You have vertices in here. And you have vertices in here. And the point is, uh... Oh my god, you're not seeing what I'm seeing. So I'm just trying to draw... So you have vertices in here and vertices in here. And then it's saying if this doesn't connect to one, then this guy should have greater than n minus one. So I should have greater than n minus one edges. Yeah, but there is a cycle in a bipartite graph. You... Oh, you need to have... Uh... There is another theorem, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, because it's bipartite.
We have this, this is a component tank. We need the ore serum. Oh, this just works out. <laughs> this is this is so easy. <laughs> this is just the ore serum. Should look at the proof of the ore serum. This is just the ore serum. This is just Dilly. Come on. Mistake the oars. Theorem. Should I maybe make it uh, like this? I don't know. And then have the exercises down here. How does it look? No. No, like this. How does it look? Well, it doesn't look great. Hello, you see? What the hell? Maybe I don't need this. What did I? What did I? Oh my god. Is he gone? Is he gone? Bye bye. Bye. Oh my god. What is happening? And I need to go to open the. I, mean, uh, I need to go to university. Where are my university files? If I can. This is white and then <laughs> this is also white. So I'll just go to and then uh, desktop real quick. Yep. Uh, practice. So probably I need to do something like this, right? Yep. I think this is better. And I have it set. No, and then have some book in there, I guess. My notes right here. If I can. Hello, can I. Can I. Uh... This works. And then you have our serum. Okay. Okay, so we state the ore theorem for the solution. Ore theorem. So we let, yeah, we let G of S. Oh, <laughs> let G. G of S is like a saturated graph. Is 
is ZFS. Yeah, never fails you, not gonna lie. Formal state. That's what we need. Let G find it as simple graph. So let G S. Ah, S is for simple. Now I remember. G S. Define for simple graph. Yep, and the vertices. Let and greater than or equal to three. So. Equal to three. Why doesn't it work if less than three? Yep. Yeah, literally what I wrote it, I like how I wrote it, and then... Such that u is not adjacent to such that u is not adjacent to v, for all u and v such that u is not adjacent to v, then degree of v plus degree of v plus degree u uh, I'm gonna explain it right now. This implies so this this implies that H C element G I, do you know you know what the Hamiltonian cycle is or you have no idea? Hey, what he's saying is that if you have like a, a graph like this, just a graph, you see it's connected, something like this. And it's saying is if uh, if you have some some vertices which are not adjacent, for, and the, the adjacent means uh, there is no edge connecting them. <laughs> oh, it's a complicated to explain from the beginning. A Hamiltonian cycle, you know what a cycle is in the graph? A cycle in the graph is uh, this. You start from U to W and or uh, I know. Uh, yep. Cycle. I, I had an example previously. I don't know. I just explained it here, but I deleted. I explained it real quick. If you go back, like I had a cool picture, like explaining it with red and uh, with red and blue. You just you need to know what a cycle is. Like this is a cycle right here. You see. It starts from you and then it just cycles to back to you. And then every vertex is unique and every edge is unique. Like they're not the same edges here, so that's a cycle. And it's saying is and it is saying it <laughs> saying it the degree of this one plus the degree of this other one is greater than you see U and V are not adjacent, 
meaning there's no edge connecting them. And then if the degree for all of these things that are not connected with each other, if the degree of them is greater than, uh, it's greater than uh, n or n plus one, it's greater than n, I think. Uh, yep, it, if it is, uh, if it is greater than n, because if you add, you see, if you add, if you have uh, more than n, you get this kind of cycle thing because they cross each other and you can cycle like this. And that's a Hamiltonian cycle. And a, a Hamiltonian cycle is just a cycle, but it's a cycle that has every, every vertex of the graph. See, every one of them. You can have, for example, a cycle like this, u, a1, a2, a3 to this thing. And then, uh, I don't know. And uh, probably there is an edge from AK to U and then go back like this. But that's a not a Hamiltonian because it doesn't have all the vertices. You need all the vertices to be a Hamiltonian cycle. And what it's saying is that if you have like enough vertices, but they cross each other like this, they cross each other like this, then... Uh, so if, if the degree of this or the number of edges going out of this and the number of edges going out of this, if you add them together, then it, if when you add them together, it is greater than this n, then you know for sure you, you can make a Hamiltonian cycle in G. So you know for sure that G has is Hamiltonian, let's say G has a Hamiltonian cycle in it. So that's what they're saying. That's what the Ohr's theorem says. I'm just stating it here. Uh, but uh, there, is, there are some other conditions. G has to be a simple graph, which I didn't explain. And uh, the vertex V should, and then you should have more than three vertices. Because if you have, what happens if you have less than three vertices, for example, if you have, does it make any sense? But yeah, because it doesn't make any sense. Even if they cross each other, they cannot even cross each other at the first place. But even if they cross, the degree of this is, uh, the degree of this is, okay, n is 3, but the degree of this guy is 1. These are not adjacent, so they, let's look at these two, which are not adjacent. The degree of this guy is 1, and the degree of this two is 2. But yeah, that's the problem, you cannot cross. If you cannot cross like this, you cannot make the cycle. So you can, you, the degree, should, the n should be greater than uh, 3. That's what, what it wants to say. And then our question was, let G be a simple bipartite graph. A bipartite graph is you have some vertices. So, and then exercise, theorem, and then you have uh, our G is a simple. So G is a, it's a bipartite graph. So G, our G in the exercise is a bipartite graph, which implies it has the, this vertex set is divided into A and B set. A and B and where we had set. So it's a bipartite graph and what it means you have here, here and they only go like this. They don't go like this. There's no edges inside. So you have vertices in here, you have vertices in A, you have vertices in B. They're divided in a sense because the edges only go from one to here, but they don't go between them. That's, that's what bipartite means. It's two parts, bipartite, like literally tells you in the name. I don't know what more you want. And then you have a bipartite graph with n vertices. So we have, so what it means is a plus b is equal to n vertices. Uh, in both of his partitions, further we, for any, and what he's saying is that, <laughs> what he's saying is that, uh, so for any u element a and uh, b and you have uh, v element b for all of them if if u and the saying is if there doesn't exist an edge between this vertice and vertice vertice does there exist this edge saying if u v if u is not adjacent if u is not adjacent ah uh, yeah if u same thing if u is not adjacent to v listen then uh, then you have uh, d of u which looks very similar to the theorem we had is greater than n plus one so the problem we have here is uh, 
Okay, so what we know is that if they are connected like this, it's okay. If there is an edge that is not connected, it's still okay because when you add up with degrees, it's greater than n. So it holds, the condition holds, we say, for the theorem, if they are not less. But the problem is, what about, uh, what about, uh, what about this? What about that? These two are not adjacent, but the Oort's theorem says that every vertex, that's for every vertex, if they're not adjacent, then the sum of their degrees should be greater than n. So what we should prove, if we want to use the Oort's theorem, is that let that if u1 and u2 element b, then the degree of u1 and degree of u1 plus degree of u2 plus degree of u2 should be great should be smaller than equal uh, it just should be should be greater than equal to n what am i saying so if i can prove that then the theorem is done and probably what we can use is this plus in here is this plus in here because you see uh, the theorem says greater than one but you have plus one and somehow this plus one is gonna come in handy but i don't know how. because right now i'm like very tired but we will see uh so what can we do what are some things we can do Well, what is it saying for me is uh, that the degree of this guy plus the degree of this guy no, the degree of this guy plus the degree of this guy plus the degree of this guy is m plus 1 which implies that together Hopefully I'm over complicating it Mm, yeah, yeah, it has, it has something to do with, I don't know what kind of things we're using. It's n plus 1. So and then what kind of theorems do we know for bipartite graphs? What kind of theorem do we know for bipartite graphs? What did I wrote for bipartite graphs? Yep, bipartite graphs. Ah, oh, you have a cycle. So there is no odd cycle. So you only have an even cycle. So one thing we should know. Okay. So one thing we know is that from bipartism, you only have even cycles. Even cycle, one. One information I have is that there are only even cycles. One information, second information. I use the three to prove it. So that's all information. Oh, and then if there are only even cycles, it's both ways. It's so strong. If there are only even. If there is an even cycle, there are only even cycles, and it is bipartite. <laughs> oh 
Minecraft Pyramid. Oh my god, this is so much I've forgotten. <sighs> I love my writing now. Prove that G contains a Hamiltonian cycle. How do I prove that G contains a Hamiltonian? Oh, it is the. Uh... Oh my God! Can that guy send me the book? Because I am. I have my lecture notes probably somewhere here. It's uh, it's it is uh, theorems. Oh, you have other theorems for bipartite graphs. They are called. Uh... Oh, I completely have forgotten. It would have been easy though if I was doing it. There is the neighboring theorems. I don't know. The theorems with the neighborings. Is it, was it for the matching, maybe? I think it is for the matching. Those theorems are for the matching. Yeah, there's for the matching, but why do we care about the matching? Maybe some thing about the matching. And then we have some theorems about matchings. Theorems about matchings. We have some theorems about matchings. Uh, and then you will ask what the matching is. <laughs> it's so hard to explain graph theory, oh my god. Uh, so what are matching? Oh no, we have something about matchings, and how would matchings help us? Well, if I say that there is a matching of n, well, if even if I have a matching, it doesn't help me a lot, does it? I don't even know how they are divided from one each other. Okay, I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> I have to think. I have to think for a bit. So I'll just like be quiet and think because uh, I have to think. Maybe you want some music, so music time for you guys, but uh, thinking time for me, so let me. Oh, let me. I like to keep my music very small. Yep, thinking time. And now I'm, I'm just gonna think until I uh, find the solution.
Right, let's solve it. I couldn't solve it at all, so... And I'm gonna do the stream tomorrow, I guess, because I can't solve it. Let's go. Well, goodbye for today. I <laughs> just can't solve anything. It's like 12.34 and my brain ain't working. So, bye bye.